assisting with court matters. 29 suspects, uh, suspected agitators have been arraigned before the chief magistrate court for their involvement and roles in the invasion of the Ohio State Government Secretariat last Saturday. They were arraigned on seven count charge bordering on treasonable felony, unlawful society, illegal possession of firearm, and conduct likely to cause breach of peace. The offenses, according to the investigative police officer Bakari Razak, an inspector with the State Criminal Investigation Department, Yagonko, is punishable under Section 516 of the Criminal Code, Cap 38, Volume 2, Laws of Oyo State of Nigeria 2000. The number of the suspects is an increase of eight more suspects following the parade of 21 suspects arrested by the Oyo Police Command. The suspects have been asked to be remanded at the Agodi Correctional Center till the 1st of August. TVC News senior reporter Oladio Yewoli joins me for more updates. Oladio, the police paraded 21 suspects on Tuesday, but are now arraigning 29 in connection with the invasion of the Ohio State Secretariat. Walk us through the case. So I think with this new development, it is safe to say that as the police has promised that they are going to conduct thorough investigation and are going to ensure that they comb every nook and cranny of Ohio State and to fish out all of these um, agitators in their idols. I think it is safe now to say that they are really doing um, their job and they have diligently, I mean, achieved this by trying to add to some of the, uh, to add to the number of the agitators that um, were arrested initially when they carried out um, the attack. So um, they were remanded today. And uh, from everything that we saw at the court today, um, it was apparent that some of these um, suspects were not aware initially of the consequences of what um, they were coming to do um, at the secretariat on that day when they invaded um, the Ohio State Secretariat. Because when the chief magistrate was reading out their, um, their offenses and the possible consequences of their offenses, one of them collapsed in the court of law. And um, it took the intervention of people that were around to revive her back to. Uh, life. So uh, that is what um, happened at the courts today. So we await the possible judgment from the magistrates um, in August when they are finally, when the judgment finally um, is pronounced. All right. And as the case continues, are we likely to see more suspects being brought to court in connection with the matter? Of course, we, we should be hopeful that uh, more suspects will be brought because, like I said, on the, on the day when they were paraded, paraded on Monday, um, some of these people came from other parts of Oyo State. We had some who came from um, who came from Oyo Town. We had some who came from Ibarapa, Ibuora. We had some who came from Ogomosho. So the police, um, as I rightly said the other time, that they are doing um, their work to ensure that they comb all of this uh, part of Oyo State to bring these people out of their hideouts. Mm. And, uh, yes, in court today, did we get to see uh, perhaps relatives, you know, some of these suspects around who uh, could share, you know, about their experiences, you know, whether some of them were even aware what is happening, you know, what their relatives got themselves into? Well, um, surprisingly, there was no relatives um, who came to check on their, who came to check on some of those suspects. Um, they, they had no legal, legal representation. And so, like I said earlier, when they started bearing the consequences of their offense, a, a lot of them became, they, they, their, expressions were, their expressions were not, I mean, looking good at all. For instance, um, their um, offenses have been classified under the criminal code of 516, which is liable to about, I think that's like seven years imprisonment. And you know, uh, that's, that was classified as, um, and conspiracy to commit felony, and that is liable to a jail time of about seven years. Um, treasonable felony on its own is about is, is, is life imprisonment. Illegal possession of arm that's about um, that's about seven years to also um, or ten years or that's about ten years or less. Um, so when they started hearing all of this, they were not too um, they were not looking good. 
they, they didn't have a legal representation and no relatives came to check on them. Mm. All right, Olaide. Th thank you very much for this update. Olaide, you will leave for us in Ibadan, your state.